What's going on, everybody? It is again Slashback Saturday, but it's 2020. How is this possible, you ask? Because we are doing Slashback, the sequel. And in honor of the first day, the first Saturday of Slashback, the sequel, or Slashback Part Dos, we are doing Return Slashers. Where basically, you just got to return from something. Have return of the title, something, whatever. Doesn't matter. And I am doing a brand new movie, guys. The movie just came out. I'm doing 2019's Trick. Directed by Patrick Lucier, Lucier, I don't know how you say it. He's the guy that directed the My Bloody Valentine remake that we all know and love. It stars Scream alum Omar Epps and Jamie Kennedy. Omar Epps plays Detective Mike Denver. Jamie Kennedy plays Dr. Stevens. And it also stars horror alum Tom Adkins, you know, the man, the myth, the legend with the mustache. But he doesn't have the big mustache in this movie. Holy shit. As Talbot. Every Halloween, a killer named Trick comes back to terrorize a few towns in the upper New York State area. And he wreaks havoc and he kills a whole lot of people. Detective Mike, the guy who was investigating the original murders and put a few bullets in the guy and then the guy fell literally to his death and then miraculously got up and walked away and got into a river yeah it's um he, he he's on the hunt man he's all over this dude uh it costs him his career costs him his badge kind of like you know the white whale and ahab you know just the way it goes a lot of people say oh this sounds really familiar what does this sound like halloween right of course it sounds like halloween it's a slasher we're going to get into pros and cons, and I really only had one con for this movie, guys. I thought the movie was fucking fantastic. I thought it was extremely well done. I really enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Well shot. Well paced. I'll get into that here in a second. The one con that I have for this movie is that when Detective Mike and the other sheriff do shoot this guy, uh, Trick, in the beginning of the film, you can definitely tell that the blood spatters and the bullet wounds are CGI and I didn't like that. There's so much good practical effects in this movie that using CGI in that one moment didn't make any sense. I think Squibs would have done a lot better. Starting off with the pros guys, this movie just jumps into it. And my first pro is that it, the is is the opening. It's an opening massacre. We have a massacre right away. Dude just goes nuts on this party. Just killing everybody. It's awesome. My second pro, I love the masks. Throughout this movie, the killer uses different masks. I think it's amazing. I, I think it's a really well done part of the story. I think that the masks show really good personality. And I like the masks themselves. They're very cool looking. I love the knife. On one side of the knife blade, it says trick. And on the other side of the knife blade, it says treat. And he spins it. And like, you know, to figure out who he's going to kill first. And it's just fucking cool, man. And the knife is just brutal looking. It's a really cool murder weapon. Uh, you remember back when we did that tag and somebody asked what your favorite weapon was? This knife comes pretty fucking close now. I really enjoyed it. I like the story in this movie. Uh, some people I've read, some critics say that they thought it was simplistic. I loved it. I thought it was a great story. I love that it spans quite a few years, actually. I believe the first time it starts in 2013 or 2014, 20, somewhere in there. And it goes all the way up to present, 2019. And it's really cool. I, I really enjoy the story. I'm not going to tell you too much about it because I do. This is a brand new movie. So, with brand new movies, I try not to give too many spoilers. I want you guys to go see the movie for yourself. One of my favorite kills in this movie, and that is a pro for me, is the kills. Yes, we get a lot of stabbings, we get a lot of knife kills. But we also get a few very cool, very interesting, and very unique kills that I fucking love. There's this great decapitation kill on a special agent that I don't want to tell you everything about. I want you guys to witness it and see what happens. It's fucking dope. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. And finally, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I love the twist ending. I thought the twist ending was good. I really wasn't sure how they were going to pull it off. I was wondering myself what was going on through the movie. And, but not in a bad way, in a way that you're trying to figure the movie out. You know, you're trying to get the, uh, you're trying to solve the mystery yourself. And I like doing that in movies. Uh, that's something that you don't have to in too many movies anymore. Especially in a movie where they show the killer's face right away. So it's pretty cool that, you know, they had this mystery twist. 
overall, guys, I definitely say that 2019's trick is definitely worth checking out, and it's definitely a treat. I hope everybody checks out this movie. I think this is going to be a Halloween rewatch for me for quite a few years to come, and I can't wait to get out and find it and get it on DVD or Blu-ray, preferably Blu-ray. Guys, I'm so glad that we are continuing the Slashback Challenge. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that takes part this year coming up for all the new people that are going to join for all the old people that are keeping it going and for anybody else that just wants to jump in and out hey it's all cool man every time you do a video it's appreciated and it's really awesome uh it's become a legacy and the legacy is getting better and bigger every year or well this is only year number two so yeah whatever still much love guys big ups to joe the horror man my super slash brother I will leave his link at the end of the video, just like I always do with the Slashback Challenge. And to everybody out there, happy Slashback Saturday. Sometimes you just gotta ignore your enemies. Sometimes you just gotta make them bleed. I've headed up to here with all the fake shit Fake friends huddled up, that's a snake pit King Kong about to rumble on some ape shit